Hey, welcome back. The security dashboard displays a graphical summary of threats against your Microsoft 365 tenant and a quick view of the global threat landscape. My name is Sushant Sudish and and I'm your trainer for this Microsoft 365 certified security administrator certification course. After this lesson, you would be able to describe how the security dashboard gives C-level executives insight into top risk, global trends, prediction quality and the organization's exposure to threats. Describe how you can use the security dashboard to quickly understand details about trends where threats originate and who the top targeted users are in your organization and describe how the dashboard can be used as a launching point to enable security analysts to drill down for more details. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. All right, so before I go into the threat dashboard, let's understand what is this all about. The Security and Compliance Center enables your organization to manage data protection and compliance. It does this in part by providing organizations with a new security dashboard that can be used to review your threat protection status and view and act on security alerts. The security dashboard provides insight into an organization's threat landscape around the globe. It features a color-coded chart of weekly threat detections, graph of malware trends and malware families detected, security trends in the industry, and a heat map of attacks origins for your specific tenant. The security dashboard enables Chief Information Security Officer the ability to gain broad and deep visibility into the enterprise threat landscape to help determine the origins of threats, the potential threat actors, the users impacted by threat, the type of threats, and how best to remediate existing threats and proactively develop strategies against future threats. So let me show you where you can find this dashboard. I'm on my Microsoft 365 admin portal. You can go to admin.microsoft.com to visit this portal. On the left hand side, expand show all and under admin center, click on security. So within Office 365 security and compliance, you can perform a lot of activities. I will take you through all of these settings when I talk about MS 100 and MS 101 examination. So right now I'm going to go to threat management and click on dashboard. As you can see that I don't have much data because this is a demo tenant. The threat management summary widget tells you at a glance how your organization was protected from the threats over the past seven days. The information you will see in the threat management summary depends on what your subscription includes. To view or access threat management summary widget, you must have permissions to view advanced threat protection reports. Then we have threat protection status. The threat protection status widget shows the threat protection effectiveness with a trending and detailed view of fish and malware. The details depend on whether your Office 365 subscription includes Exchange Online Protection with or without Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection. The Global Weekly Threat Detection widget shows how many threats were detected in email messages over past seven days. This includes number of email messages scanned multiplied by the number of recipients. Then we have Threat Stopped. This includes the number of email messages identified as containing malware multiplied by the number of recipients. The next one is blocked by ATP. This is calculated by number of email messages blocked by ATP multiplied by the number of recipients. And the last one is removed after delivery. And this is calculated by number of messages removed by zero. This is calculated by number of messages removed by zero or auto purge multiplied by the number of recipients. Now let's understand threat investigation and response. If your organization subscription include Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection Plan 2, your security dashboard has a section that includes advanced threat investigation and response tools. Your organization security team can use the information in this section to understand emerging campaigns investigate threats and manage incidents. So first let's understand what are trends. Because I don't have a lot of data in my demo tenant, I took this screenshot to explain you what are trends and alerts. 
near the bottom of your security dashboard is a trend section which summarizes email flow trends for your organization reports provide information about email categorized as spam malware phishing attempts and good email you can click the tile to view more detailed information from this report then what are alerts alerts dashboard contain a set of widgets on security dashboard are related to alerts alerts is a feature in the microsoft 365 security and compliance center that is integrated across several programs including data loss prevention auditing advanced security management and threat intelligence you can create alert policies to track things like users and admin activities and data loss incidents you can also create alert policies to track malware threats in your organization after choosing the activity you want to be alerted on you can refine the policy by adding conditions deciding when to trigger the alert and who should receive notifications and then there are more insights as well malware widget shows details about malware trend and malware family type over the past 7 days insights not only surface key issues you should review they also include recommendations and actions to consider for example you might see the phishing email messages are being delivered because some users have disabled the junk mailbox option that includes the lesson on security dashboard in the next video we're going to learn about threat investigation and response so i will see you on the next one till then take care